I've never met anyone like James before. I mean, he's tough. Not like you, though. He doesn't kill monsters, but he's not scared of them either. He's cool. Hey, Clem. Willie told me the plan. How'd things go with that guy? James. He agreed to help us. If somebody told me we were gonna sneak onto a boat and a herd of walkers, I'd have called them crazy. What are you doing with those? Oh, well, I wanted to throw one last hoot nanny before the big fight. Swear? Huh? It sounds like a swear. <laughs> what the hell is a hoot nanny? <laughs> It's just another way of saying party. I know it sounds strange, throwing a party, but people need something to lift their spirits right about now. This could be her last chance. Mm. I wanted to make some tea for everyone. Could I borrow your little heater thing? What can I do? We need to pretty up the old music room. Could you make us something colorful to hang up? Okay, I'll be an artist. I'm gonna make the deck, uh, the decor... Decoration. A decoration for the party. Okay, I'll get the heater. How do you play with it? You draw pictures, like this. <laughs> cool. Dunklum, come see. Okay, be right there. Hey, you're getting better at this. Soon you'll be as good an artist as Ten. I don't know. He's really good. Something wrong? AJ? I was just thinking about stuff while I was drawing. There are three kind of eyes, Clem. Hmm. Oh, yeah? There are live people eyes. We got those. Then there's monsters eyes. They usually look like dirty water. Other times, monsters eyes aren't even wet. And then there are live people eyes right as you kill them. Like you did to Abel. His, his eyes looked like you blew a candle out. He was a bad guy. I know I shouldn't feel like this. I hated him, too. I think there's something wrong with me. Some things are hard to look at. Difficult and messy to take in. But you can't let any of that make you soft. Okay? I want to be hard. Like you, Clem. I will be one day. I'm getting real smart. <laughs> Is that right? Yes, because I'm always thinking all the time. Okay, what are you thinking about right now? You getting bit, turning into a monster. Oh. Yeah. The older I get, the more I see it. I don't know why. What happens then? Anyone can get bit. It doesn't matter if you're inside or outside or how careful you are. That's not happening. You don't know that. No, I don't. But it won't happen anytime soon. You don't know that either. You're just trying to be brave for me. <sighs> it does something weird to my stomach. Like I'm gonna get the dookies. AJ, I need to know you remember what we talked about. What you're supposed to do if it happens. Listen to me. If I get bit, you'll... Shoot. No. No, I'm not gonna do that. 
Hey, Jay, you promise. I don't care. I'm not gonna shoot you. If you get bit, I'd want you to bite me too. What? You don't mean that. I want to be alone. Please don't be mad. I can't live with you not with me, Clem. I know we've talked about it so much, but don't make me. Alvin Jr., you know you're not supposed to talk like this. You're too strong and too brave. I don't think I am anymore about this. Yes, you are. You are, okay? <sighs> You can't break promises, AJ. I know. You're not letting this go, are you? James said... <sighs> Guess not. That we could be around when we're monsters. Like on the inside. If you got bit and then bit me, then maybe we'd still be together. It would just be a different together. We might even be okay. AJ, I'm done. We're not doing this anymore. You're gonna drop it, or you're in big trouble. I mean it. Why can't you just be nice to me, stupid Ed? AJ. What's up with AJ? Little guy ran out of here like he was on fire. He just needs some space. I was wondering, well, I can't help but thinking. <sighs> you shot that raider who grabbed me, but you saw them take Violet too, which means you could have saved Violet and not me. Why, why would you pick me? <sighs> I mean, I wouldn't have picked me. Hell, I don't know anyone who would have picked me. I couldn't let them take you. You're too important to me. I know I'm always teasing her, trying to get her to do that one eye roll she does. You know the one, where it's like, you're such a dumbass, she has to do a full body eye roll. I do it because when I actually do manage to make her laugh, it's worth it. If I needed her, she'd be there. Meet Cleaver in hand, ready to chop someone in half if it meant protecting me. Hey, we're going to get them back, Lewis. Yeah, damn right we will. Actually, um, that's... <laughs> that's not the only reason I dropped by. Ruby's whole party idea kind of made me realize something. What are you doing? Well, I figured since we might die tomorrow and never get to go on a real date. I thought we could. Damn it. Have one now. I promise I'll keep it short so we can finish getting things ready for tomorrow. <laughs> but I mean, nothing's wrong with short and sweet, right? Let's do it. I never thought I'd get to go on a date, ever. Really? Never? Have you met you? End of the world or not, someone would have at least tried to sweep you off your feet. <sighs> all right, all right. What? It's true. What do you know about dating, anyway? I'll have you know, I found some magazines in the headmaster's office that had some very interesting things to say about the dating world. Oh yeah? Like what? Well, like, it said you can tell a lot about someone based on what they look for in a partner. You know, brains, brawn, dashing good looks, great sense of humor, that sort of thing. <laughs> sure, I guess. What, uh... What would you say your thing is? That you look for in a guy? If you had to pick. Hmm, I think I prefer a good sense of humor.
All right, I see you. You got me this time. <sighs> if only I knew someone with one of those. I think that deserves a toast. A toast? Don't those usually come at the end? Hey, I warned you I'd make this quick. So, what do you say? To our last night alive. To our last night alive. Now that's the spirit. Though, I have to admit I didn't expect it to be so disheartening to hear you say it. <sighs> so, I'll see you over there? Hey, Clem! <laughs> wow. Where did you find a beach ball? It was in some garbage behind one of the dorms. I had to blow it up, and that was pretty gross. But look, it works. <laughs> I should start heading back to the admin building. Hmm. I thought you were mad at me. Well, I am, but I still wanted to show you. It's cool, right? Super cool. <laughs> back! Think fast. Ouch! <laughs> I love you, Clem. And I'm sorry for calling you a dumbhead. It was stupid head. You called me a stupid head. Oh, <laughs> right. I love you back, kiddo. <sighs> okay, we better get ready to go. Sounds like they need us in the music room. Okay. Looks like things are coming together. Yeah, we still need to figure out lighting, music, and something to write on that banner. If we're gonna die, we should have some fun first. Music? You gonna play the piano all night? God, no. I wanna actually attend this thing. Then how? You've never seen a record player? Wouldn't be a party without some kind of mood lighting. I've been going back and forth between colors for ages. Green's calming, but purple might be nice. Red. Definitely red. I'll make it happen. Look, check this out. When you turn that crank there, it plays me. Are we using the banner for some kind of party theme? Mm, not exactly. It's meant to be more motivational. I'd keep it short, though. There's not as much room as you think. I was thinking something uplifting, like, we're gonna get through this. Straight and to the point. We're getting them back. Yeah, we sure are. Okay, we'll have Ten break out his paintbrush and ride it out.
pulled out the old headmaster's gramophone so he could play some records. Not much of a selection, but it should do. Just tell me what you want to listen to. This indecision is killing me. I'll take care of it. This place is gonna look great. Oh, and Willie was asking for you. He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise for the party, but he wanted to show it to you first. Hey, Clem, check it out. I found a bunch of books on ships. There's some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff. The key is the boiler. Wait, what are you talking about? I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. And from hurting anyone else ever again. We're gonna blow up the boat. It's the only way to make sure they don't come back. Besides, it feels right, you know? For Mitch. Nice. Mitch would love this plan. I know, it's perfect. I can't think of a better memorial than to blow that boat out of the water. The tricky bit is timing the explosion so that it happens after you get off the boat. Trust me, this'll work. We'll be okay. Okay, everybody, get ready to boogie. And, um, Clem, I'm sorry for before, about how I treated Ten. I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. That's nice, Willie, but don't tell me. Tell Ten. Wow, this looks great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. But just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. I guess I'll mingle? I see you two are working together. Yeah, Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Actually, ah, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it. Something cool. I mean, I think it deserves a name. Yeah, we absolutely have to name it. I thought you'd make fun of me, but hell yeah. Let's name this fucker. How about Mitch's masterpiece? Yeah, I like that. Mitch would have, too. Okay, then it's settled. <laughs> I found them! Okay, Clementine. These here are our official Erickson psych evaluations and probationary reports. Okay. I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. And how we got stuck here for as long as we did. So, what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, you might as well know who we really are. So, I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This'll be the first one. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. You know what, Ruby? I bet you're reading your own file. <laughs> Whoa! How'd you guess that? <laughs> It's the red hair. Dead giveaway. 
I mean, I can totally see it. The first time I met Ruby, she was all, That little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was sorry. Our sweet Ruby here was kind of a nightmare when she first showed up. Ooh. She once chased the home ec teacher around the yard with a barbecue fork this big. No way. <laughs> Don't worry. That was a long time ago. You guys want to know why I got sent here? Dude, no. Chronic masturbation. Willie, I speak for all of us when I say nobody has ever, ever wanted to know that. What does that mean? Uh-uh, don't you dare. Uh, anyway, maybe we should change up the music? I like all kind of different music, I think. There's a lot of them. Sure, we've heard enough of this. Throw some country on. Hell yeah! Hell yeah. I didn't realize how many of us we lost. Remember that Justin guy? And Theresa and Jasper. That one girl with colored braces. And Joey, Maddie, Lamar. Erin. She had the braces. Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stephanie. Holy crap, how many of us died? 34. Whose is it? Violet's. Should we read it? I, uh, I, I could tell you guys my story instead. What got me sent here, I mean. Only if you want. It's not great. I was hoping you'd tell me. So, my family was stupid rich. Parents gave me everything I wanted, when I wanted it. Except for one thing, singing lessons. God, I begged my dad, told him I wanted to be a real musician. But all he said was, you get to be happy or you get to be rich. Can't be both. I know now that he was just trying to teach me a dumb dad lesson, but I hated him for that. So I decided I'd teach him a lesson. I thought, I'll break up my parents' marriage. That hurt real bad, right? So I broke into my dad's credit card accounts and made all these purchases in his name. Did this for over a year. This is how rich we were. He never noticed he was spending a fortune on a mistress that I'd made up for him. But I made sure my mom did. Sent her all the receipts for the hotel rooms, the jewelry, all of it. They had a fight all night long. He denied it. She wouldn't have it. I sat in the corner and cried to help it feel more real. When their divorce was final, I told them the truth. I said, you get to be happy or you get to be rich. You don't get to be both. You know? Those two would have been happily married forever, but then I had to go be a vindictive fuckhead. I came here the week after. Yeah, okay, so that's pretty fucked up. I'm in complete and total agreement. They said we were bad people, Clem. They weren't wrong. Still, none of us deserve to be ditched out here in the middle of the forest by the people that were supposed to make us better. Sorry, this was supposed to be fun. I guess I'm not really a game person. Don't beat yourself up. 
You said it yourself. Clem needs to know who she's leading into battle. Hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared? Of course I remember. I helped compose it with her. Could you maybe play it for us? If I was here, she could sing the words, but... Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to, Ten. This is for you, Minnie. Hey, sweet pea. We? Why the train? You always pick the train. I'm not sure. Maybe because this is where it all started. Where you taught me to shoot and to cut my hair. To be ready for what was coming. You were a quick study. So, what's on your mind this time? I'm worried, Lee. I've got a lot of people depending on me, and I don't know if what I'm doing is right. Oh, I know that feeling. You know, I was uh, making it all up as I went along, right? Couldn't let on, of course. You being so little. You kinda had to think on your feet. Monsters took over the world, and you got stuck taking care of an eight year old girl. You were a handful. 
but I didn't get stuck with anything. You kept me going. You want to tell me about what you're up against? I'm with a new group now, and I've been in so many, and they always fall apart. But I really like this one. It's different. It almost feels like home. That's a good thing. It's hard being alone out there. But we're in trouble. Some bad people captured my friends, and getting them back might get the rest of us killed. I'm not worried. What? Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get your friends out of it. You don't know that. I know you're a survivor. The Clementine I know is gonna fix it. I really believe that. You're right. I just needed to hear you say it. I'm going to get my friends out of this. Every one of them. Alive. That's right. Imagine how Violet will feel when she finds out you came to rescue her. You'll have given her hope again. <sighs> oh, sweet pea, you know you always get like this before something big. Remember how scared you were before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Ranch? You survived that, didn't you? That was different. I was alone. I know. It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. Friends. A boy who thinks the world of you. They're fighting beside you. Because of you. Come see me again. When you've gotten them out, okay? Out. And safe. Sound good? And hopefully we can talk about happier things. Lee? I miss you so much. I wish you were really here. <sighs> I miss you too, Clementine. But we'll have to make do with pretending. Thank you, Lee. Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. I meant to ask. How's the boy? He's good, Lee. You'd like him. Uh, ben, you teach him to shoot yet? <laughs> you have no idea. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. A kid growing up in it, he'd be hard too. You're in my shoes now, raising a kid. Think you got a handle on it? Uh, it can't be easy. Wanted to give him a childhood, but knowing what it takes to survive now. EJ's amazing, Lee. I've taught him to be strong and brave and capable. He'd be so proud. You mean more than I already am? Keep moving, Lee. But I'm tired of running. I... I have a home now. Then you're off the hook. A home is better than I could have ever hoped for. Time to go, Clementine. You've got people that need you. Clem, 
Wake up. It's time to go. We got a long walk. We're really doing this. Only the team blending in with the walkers need to cover themselves. Now we just need your walker friend to... He's here. Good lord. Uh, hello. Guys, this is James. He's my friend. He's, uh, so cool. How do you get the skin like that? Uh, oh. I, um, Clementine? Can I try it on? That's not a good idea. Come on, please. Willie, quiet. Someone might hear you. Loud is bad. I'm not even being that loud. Sorry. I'll be quiet. Oh, and sorry I tried to shoot you that one time. Your mask looks so real. Functional and fashionable. I'll take two. <laughs> Funny. Is this the guy that Clem said she'd flip? <laughs> yeah. Um, Clementine, could I speak to you alone for a moment? Good idea. Hold tight. Hey, uh, Den, come here, buddy. I gotta tell you something. The walkers. They'll be here in a little while. You can join them as they pass through the trees. The noise from the boat will draw them toward the water. Then we can get on board and save our friends. Your friends are... different. Open-minded. Accepting. Like you. That's not usually how my first impressions go. Sorry, I feel like I'm rambling. It's just being welcomed. It's strange. You know, they could be your friends too. I know you didn't want to come into the school before, but now that you've met them... I haven't lived with people in a long time. But it does sound nice. Let me think about it. I wanted to show you something. This is... was my boyfriend, Charlie. We joined the Whisperers together. But it changed him. In a way that couldn't be undone. It changed both of us. What do you mean? The Whisperers were my family. From a young age, 
In that time, I witnessed a lot of death and suffering. Eventually, I became the cause of it. Weakness was considered a poison, and I believed in that fiercely. So much so, that when another boy expressed sympathy for our enemy before an attack, I slit his throat. I didn't talk to him, didn't consider who he was, what he felt. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even remember his name. You killed someone innocent? A child? That's horrible. I know that now. But then I didn't care. It had to be done. After he died, I kept hearing his words in my head. Those people are like us, just on a different path. I stopped killing after that. I changed. No one else did. When AJ told me he killed someone, it reminded me of them. Of myself. When he said it was the right thing to do. Taking life like that from a young age it breaks something inside you. It broke something in Charlie. I just... I'm afraid if AJ kills again, he won't be able to go back. He won't be the same boy he was. I've seen it happen too many times. I'm not going to let AJ become a killer. I don't want him to change. Not like that. I hope you can keep that promise. They're close. Soon there will be enough of them to provide us cover. I'll lead you through the herd until you reach the boat. That's as far as I go. After that, it's up to you. Thank you. Take care of AJ. Okay, he's ready to go. The walkers are getting close. Ruby, you're in charge of the horses. Willie, Dan, take care of the supplies. And I'm in charge of the bomb. Find the boiler. There'll be a door on the bottom with ash and stuff. Put it in there. <sighs> See you all on the other side. I'll cut it open. Lewis told me about Minnie. That Sophie died, and Minnie is one of them now. Just... If you see her out there, tell her... Tell her I forgive her. Please, I tell her myself, but I just want her to be okay. Yeah, sure. If we see her, I'll let her know. Thanks. It's really happening, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Other people's lives are depending on us. Depending on me. You're depending on me to... What if something happens to you, Clem? What if... What if I can't? I don't know. I can't carry that the rest of my life. I wouldn't have asked you to come with me if I didn't believe in you. Seriously, Louis, I mean it. Just believe me until you believe yourself, okay? All right. Though I don't know if that's as easy as you think it is. Okay, I'll try. But what if I just get us caught too? All it would take is one little screw up, and I'd screw up all the time. Uh, all right, come on, Lewis. Get it together. I need you to slap me. Help pull me out of this. Right here. I... 
I can't tell if I feel more focused or less. <laughs> what are you doing? You'll learn when you're older. Go look in another direction. It's ready. Ugh. Oh, we're not doing what I think we are. That depends. What do you think we're doing? Oh, God, we are. It'll help us blend in with the walkers. Uh, there. <laughs> I think I'm ready. Uh, no, you're not. There. You know, walker blood is one of the hardest stains to get out. You owe me some new clothes. We gonna do it? We're doing it. Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. Walkers! Stay behind the walkers. Use them as shields. the walkers. Use them as shields. chance we can't risk leaving cover but we'll have to crawl along the side of the dock
You okay? <coughs> I'm fine. <sighs> Stay close. Stay hidden. You okay? <clears throat> I'm fine. <clears throat> Stay close. Stay hidden. Ready, AJ? Walkers incoming!